Tia Issa wants a car. Tia Issa wants a car. She tells me after work when she still smells of lemon pies from the bakery. She is turning the jump rope that's tied to the fence, and I'm already up to 20. Un piscore, she says, to take us to the beach. Really? The beach? I can't catch my breath. No one goes far from my block in the summer, but a beach has foamy water that reaches all the places I cannot go. See, really, let's save. Tia Issa wants a car. What color? I ask as we climb the steps to our apartment. Past our neighbor's doors from under the cracks, I hear the scrapes of forks and smell the boiled hot dogs on their tables. The same shiny green as the ocean that lapped outside my bedroom window, she says. When Tia Issa was a girl, the air on her island smelled of wet palm fronds and mud. And pointy wings off the back, I say. When we go fast, we'll look like the gulls that swoop for your crab buckets. It's my favorite Tia story. Yes, she says. Asla. Tia Issa wants a car. But Tio Andres laughs when he hears his sister's plan. Don't be ridiculous, he says. You're not a rich queen. We walk everything, excuse me, we walk to everything we need to hear, Isa. Now, what's for dinner? Tia Isa just whistles as she steps over Tio's work boots, muddy like ogre shoes, and stirs our black bean soup. Later that night, Tia Isa takes out the fat money envelope from her drawer in our room. Two piles, she says. I make a stack tall and straight. That's our helping money, which we will send back home, along with the notes and pictures so Mammy can see how I've grown. What's left is Tia Issa's car. Too little, I think. It's not as tall as a pinch. But Tia Issa only crosses her arms. What did that bossy brother of mine say, she asks. He said, ridiculo. I repeat with Tio's hard R's like a cat purring. We'll see about that, she says. Tia Issa wants a car. Is it waiting for us? Is it waiting for us inside this lot that smells of tar? We walk along sucking on red popsicles and looking at the clouds reflecting on the glassy hoods. How much, mister? How much? Tia Issa repeats in the few English words she knows. She shows him her envelope. Not enough, the man tells us again, shaking his head. We'll have the money soon, Tia Issa says as we wait for the bus. But soon is when our family is going to join us here. So I know soon can be a very long time. Tia Issa wants a car. But we don't have enough, I tell Senor Leo, who is sweeping his fruit store. He stops to scratch his shiny head and has an idea. Help me stack those oranges nice and pretty, Nina, and I'll pay you. Tia Issa wants a car, I tell La Villa Maria, who has a windowsill cat but can't bend her creaky back to feed them. She looks over her dusty glasses and holds out her extra key. Come to school, come after school, Mavida, to give the kittens milk. I'll pay you. Tia Issa wants a car, I tell Miss Amy, who speaks no Spanish, but wants to invite Senor Perez over for ham sandwiches. How will they tell each other good stories? Teach me some Espanol, she begs. I'll pay you. Tia Issa wants a car, but why does it take so long to save? I wonder, have you ever felt like that? Sometimes when I'm saving for something, it does seem like forever. It takes a long time. Sometimes it's hard to wait for good things to happen, she says. Then she reads me Mammy's letter. Abulo is feeling a little better. Mammy feeds him crab soup. Papi plays him old songs on his guitar.
see that they're sitting on the couch together reading. So I wait and wait until one day my secret money sock has grown into a giant money sausage and I can't wait anymore. I show Tia my surprise. The curly bills tumble onto her bed. She leaves two pink lip marks on my forehead from her bastido. Vamos, Tia, let's go, I tell her, tiptoeing past Tio Andres, who is playing cards with the men from work. She chases after me all the way to the lot. Tia Issa wants a car, and I find it, hiding near the rusty fence. Shiny green, wide as the porch of Tia Issa's old house. Already I can feel the seashells between my toes. As miso, Miss Mo, sorry, she says, the very one. Bad radio, no air conditioning, warns the man, but Tia Issa is already touching the front seat, big enough for three. She nods when I show her there's room in the back for more of us who will come soon. You're right, Mahaya, she says. This one will take us all where we want to go. We'll take it, I tell the man. Tia Issa turns on the car, whose motor cranks with a puff of genie smoke, and then says, Oza, 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 Oza. First things first, she said. She pulls out the only thing left in our envelope, which is skinny, now like an empty balloon. It's a picture of our whole family, me, Tia Issa, and Tio Andres, but also my parents, grandparents, and cousins, Los Padres, Abulas, and Primos, who are still there thinking about us from that breezy house by the sea. I hold the picture steady while she tapes down the corners. When Tia Issa leans into the hula hoop wheel, and off we go. My ponytail flaps behind me like a rope cut loose. We zoom along Sanford Avenue past my school and other buildings, so squat and red, past a bus full of tired people squeezed close the way I dislike, with no room to spin around the bars inside. T. Issa bought a car, I shout. Tia Issa steers us to the spot I point to. The rumbling car fits into the space just right. Our neighbors come out to see. Hurry now, a puret, she tells me. I check for the frowning super and run to the patch of keep off grass. I whistle until Tio Andres finally comes out to look. Tia Issa bought a car, I called. Come down and see. He laughs in surprise at his ridiculous sister. You did it, he says, smiling to his back teeth. We did it, Tia Issa says and there's room for all. Tia Issa and I bought a car to carry us all to the sea. And this was written for the real Tia Issa in memory of Tia Jera. This is to my dearest daughter, Lily, to her own Tia Issa, and my beloved sister, Anatty. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you remembered that, you know, the girls were trying to save their money, but they were also saving money for what? To bring their family close to them. They want to drive to the beach, and that will help them feel connected to their family. Because remember, that's where Tia Issa was, and that's the way it was in her mind. So going to the beach helps her feel more connected, more a part of their family. So they are hopeful they can be with their family again soon. Remember, soon sometimes feels like a long time, but keep working. And if you work hard and you work together, things are easier to accomplish. You can keep your loved ones close to your heart, even if they're far away. 
Nowadays, we can also use FaceTime or Skype or some other type of computer like Zoom or WebEx so that we can see them so they don't feel so far away. But we always love having our family close. I hope you enjoyed this book today about Tia Issa Wants a Car.